Welcome to Secura Lids Willybin Lock Premium Installation Instructions. There are two main types of wheelie bin that need to be considered before installing. Type 1 bins have bin lids that do not cover the entire top of the bin body, as shown on the left. The edge of the bin body protrudes past the bin lid. These bins are commonly found in Australia, New Zealand, the UK, plus many other countries. Type 2 bins have bin lids that cover the entire top of the bin body, as shown on the right. These bins are commonly found throughout North and South America. We will start with Type 1 bins. If you have a Type 2 bin, please skip to 4 minutes 16 of the video. Before we start, please pause the video now and have the following equipment or any of the suitable alternatives ready for the installation. Place the latch as shown on the lip of the bin body. Hold out the arm of the main part and place it over the latch to figure out the best positioning. Just behind the bin lid handle is ideal, otherwise anywhere on the front half of the lid is perfectly fine. Remove the main part whilst maintaining the latch's position. Using a drill with a 4mm drill bit attached, drill through the left hole of the latch through to the inside of the bin. Ensure that your drill is held straight and horizontal when drilling. If your drill bit isn't long enough to make it through to the inside of the bin, move the latch out of the way after drilling through the first layer of the bin and then drill right through. Place a bolt with washer on it through the hole from the inside of the bin to the outside. This will maintain the latch's position so you can now drill the right hand side hole with perfect alignment. Pass the other bolt with washer on it through the hole. Take one of the hexagonal nuts and hold it to the end of the bolt while screwing the bolt onto the nut using a 7mm socket or spanner. Pro tip, it is far easier to screw the bolt onto the nut as opposed to screwing the nut onto the bolt. Ensure the hexagonal nut fits into the hexagonal hole on the latch as you are screwing it in. Only lightly tighten the bolt for now. Repeat this process with the other nut and bolt. Now, take one self-drilling screw and fix it through one hole of the latch down into the bin using a drill with a Phillips bit attached. Do not fix it all the way in with the drill. Alternatively, you can drill a 3mm or smaller pilot hole and then fix the screw down using a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat with the other hole. Fix both screws down firmly by hand using a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, properly tighten the 50mm bolts using your 7mm socket or spanner. Close your bin lid. Place the main part over the latch by holding the arm out and then letting it go. To achieve the ideal positioning of the main part, look from above and move the main part until the two holes line up. You may find it easiest to pass a pen or screwdriver through the two holes. When you are confident the two holes are lined up, take your drill and drill a 4mm hole through one hole of the main part down and through the bin lid. Push one of the 20mm long hex bolts through the hole and ensure the hex head of the bolt sits into the hex head hole of the main part. Repeat with the other two holes. Open your bin lid and place a washer and nut onto the end of all three bolts. Tighten the nuts firmly using a 7mm socket or spanner. You have now completed the installation. Now for those with type 2 bins. Before we start, please pause the video and have the following equipment or any of the suitable alternatives ready for the installation. Hold the latch next to the bin and place the main part over the top. Find a suitable spot where the main part will sit comfortably whilst housed over the latch. Remove the main part whilst maintaining the latch's position. Mark the latch's position with a texter if necessary. Open your bin lid and place the latch as shown on the lip of the bin body. 
Using a drill with a 532 inch or 4 mm drill bit attached, drill through the left hole of the latch, right through to the inside of the bin. Ensure that your drill is held straight and horizontal when drilling. If your drill bit isn't long enough to make it through to the inside of the bin, move the latch out of the way after drilling through the first layer of the bin and then drill right through. Place a 2 inch bolt with washer on it through the hole from the inside of the bin to the outside. This will maintain the latch's position so you can now drill through the right hand side hole with perfect alignment. Pass the other bolt with washer on it through the second hole. Remove the latch and connect the extension bracket in the orientation shown using a Phillips head screwdriver and the two self tapping screws. Ensure both screws are fixed down tightly. Reconnect the latch with extension bracket onto the bolts as shown. Please keep in mind you can use the lower two holes to reconnect the latch, which will lift the latch up two thirds of an inch. This will be necessary for those who have very thick or tall bin lids. Take one of the hexagonal nuts and hold it to the end of the bolt while screwing the bolt onto the nut using a 932 inch or 7mm socket. Ideally it is easiest using a socket screwdriver for this, however a normal socket wrench or spanner will work. Pro tip, it is far easier to screw the bolt onto the nut as opposed to screwing the nut onto the bolt. Ensure the hexagonal nut fits into the hexagonal hole on the latch as you are screwing it in and tighten the bolts firmly. Now, close your bin lid. Place the main part over the latch by holding the arm out and then letting it go. If the main part is sitting too high and not engaging correctly with the latch, you will need to reconnect the latch onto the lower holes of the extension to increase its vertical height. To achieve the ideal positioning of the main part, Look from above and move the main part until the two holes line up. You may find it easiest to pass a pen or screwdriver through the two holes. When you are confident the two holes are lined up, take your drill and drill a 532 inch hole through one hole of the main part down and through the bin lid. Push one of the two thirds of an inch long hex bolts through the hole and ensure the hex head of the bolt sits into the hex head hole of the main part. Repeat with the other two holes. Open your bin lid and place a washer and nut onto the end of all three bolts. Tighten the nuts firmly using a 932 inch socket or spanner. You have now completed the installation.